we organized an international workshop under leadership of Professor Stephen Wilson. He's a leading surgeon and uh, one of the people who developed this method of treatment. Professor Wilson is uh, my surgical father and um, he teach me how to implant penile prosthesis. The idea is to teach young doctors who is on the way to start their own career in the field of prosthetic urology and surgical andrology as well as genital surgery to learn how to implant penile prosthesis. Uh, Dr. Osmanoff is one of maybe 25 guys in Germany uh, that does these, and he's the highest volume by far of anybody, but he still needs uh, interaction with other guys who do a lot of this so that he can be up on the latest. The biggest challenge to me has been to make this therapy um, more available throughout the world because it's not really taught in training programs. And so the only way we can get the more spreading out of doctors who are willing to focus on this tiny subspecialty of prosthetic urology is to have these type of courses. And you have attention on your sutures. That is my There are a lot of occasional surgeons and uh, especially in our discipline, surgeons um, watching the videos or reading a book. So maybe uh, uh, looking uh, live surgery sessions during the meetings and then coming back to the hospitals and trying uh, to do the surgery because I think that might be easier for them to do it uh, or it looks like to be easier but uh, the surgery is not easy because um, uh, the devil is in details and if you don't know the details that could uh, produce a disaster. So there's this idea of um, UKSH uh, urology and uh, this international authority to teach young doctors all over the world how to implant. Pyrabrosidics is not easy surgery or robotic complex robotic surgery is not just a surgery because you have uh, a fate, you have uh, a person behind. The fact that a man can't control his urination so he can't he can't go to church because he smells up the the inside of the church. He can't play golf. He uh, there's so many things that you can't do because you're wet. And by the very simple little operation through a two inch incision, we put a, a device in him and he's dry. And the same with a man who can't have an erection and have intimacy with his wife. Uh, same thing. We put a uh, make a little two inch incision in his scrotum, uh, takes about 35 minutes and we fix him so that he can get an erection and then when he's finished satisfying, he and his partner, he can get the erection to go away and he can take a shower in the gym and nobody would know he had it in him. Uh, what could be better than that?